Hi friends, Nick here from Technology Lowdown. So today I'm finally showing you the connection to the shed using the fiber connection, which I installed in the last month or so. So just behind me here, you can see I've got my rack here. I've got my Synology NAS right here. And then you'll just see there's this uh, green fiber cable just uh, hanging here in the air. I haven't finished installing it properly, but it is definitely working. And I'll show you just how much data it has transferred so far as I've been doing some intensive uh, data backups across the network and even uh, set up a second NVR on the network to make sure I've got a backup of all my security recordings. So let's go on this little tour of this network setup uh, where I've connected the house to the shed and I'll show you around. All right, so I'll just uh, wander on outside the back here. And uh, close the back door there. As we walk outside, you'll see that I've got the, an access point just up there on the ceiling. That uh, covers this whole area where we've got the pool. And if I uh, walk on outside here a little bit more, you'll see that this is the shed. Okay, so inside the shed, of course, we've got some nice LED lights up here for the roof. So that's uh, providing good lighting, especially for this video. Just up here, I've got uh, my access point and then I've got a little security camera just over there as well, which I have recently uh, done a little video on. It's another high look um, uh, camera, which is quite featured. It's not as good as the previous um, high watch uh, cameras that I've used, but it uh, does uh, support, you know, it's HD, it's uh, 1920 by 1080, which is more than enough for my needs. So let's take a look at this fiber connection. So this is the outside of the office that I was just in before. And it, the way I've got it is I've got the fiber cable that comes to the network rack, which is just in there. It goes down towards the carpet. Then it goes just through the wall into a linen closet up into the ceiling. Then it goes through the ceiling and it comes over to this back corner of the house. Now, if you have a look down here, I've got these two pipes, conduit pipes, which were installed originally for solar heating for the pool. But because I live in a pretty hot area most of the time, um, we really don't really need solar heating on the pool because the pool's only off limits for a couple of months of the year. And then after that, you can jump straight back in. So it's really not worth it putting solar heating in. So here we've got two conduit pipes. The one on the right here is the electrician. The one on the left is my network. I've got uh, an alarm cable in there, two network leads and the fiber lead. That one heads down and into this large um, conduit here, which is actually just PVC pipe. Okay, so that uh, fiber cable, it comes in just behind this pull pump area here. Um, I'll just get this camera in behind here and we should be able to see that I've got down there uh, the end of that fiber lead. You can see that piece of conduit just uh, running up the back of the shed, just down there. And that is the fiber lead in, which is then going into this TP-Link media converter, which I've shown you in a previous video. Then from that media converter, it's going back into uh, CAT6E network cable, just there. That network cable is then running straight up here in the corner through that uh, flashing. It's running just along the top there and it's running back down following the joists. And then just down here we've got uh, We've got the main network cable in, then these other network leads here are for the security camera and for where well, I'm distributing the network further around the shed to those computers over there, which is of course my offsite backup and uh, uh, my NVR. So this is the backup NVR that I've got. I've just got that running uh, FFmpeg and converting RTSP streams to MP4. This is my uh, backup network share, which basically just has a couple of external hard drives plugged in there. We have run rsync to copy everything from the main Synology NAS inside to the shed. Then of course over there is my technical workbench where I can pull apart all sorts of 
technological things, put them back together, and perhaps share some videos from time to time. Well, I hope that's given you a little glimpse into how I've been able to connect the shed with fiber network cable so that I can use it for my offsite backups and um, just uh, have a better uh, peace of mind knowing that all my data is backed up. It's not necessarily in the one house and it also links in with the other systems I've got here such as my home alarm system which I programmed on the Raspberry Pi using Python and I can perhaps tell that to turn on the backup NVR should there be an intrusion in the house and do a backup recording should they get a hold of my original NVR which is inside the house. Okay, so I've connected via SSH to the backup system that I've got running. It is called SA02 on my network here. And if I run VNSTAT, which is a tool I use for monitoring the uh, bandwidth that uh, my device is using. Um, so we can see that it's already used an estimated 2.5 terabyte worth of data there. And that's because it has been basically copying straight through the network and it took about probably at least a day because it was copying to a USB 2.0 drive um, across the network. Probably would have been quicker in hindsight to take the drive directly to the system, but um, it was just easier to copy across the network. Um, I'll just show you another system here. So I'll just SSH into the backup NVR. Um, actually, I'll just have to wake it up. Okay, so I've just turned on the uh, NVR that I was uh, testing to make sure I could back up uh, my security cameras to a second device. And so that's just turning on, and in a moment I will show you uh, the bandwidth that it has, um, the data that it has transferred. So you'll see here I've just sent a magic packet which is using Wake on LAN to wake that device up from its sleep. Now, I'm just running a base Ubuntu system on here, um, and I'll just log in, and I will now run VNSTAT, and we can see that it has transferred 980 gigabyte uh, just this month alone, and it's only been running since last weekend for about five days, and I've just got it looping through an FM M FFmpeg um, script, which is creating one minute clips. Uh, based around a video from CW and E88 and his Swan security cameras. So there you have it. You can see that my fiber is definitely proving very useful in transferring this large amount of data around the network. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you've liked this video, please like it. If you'd like to see more, subscribe and don't forget to tap the bell if you'd like to see notifications. Thanks for watching. Bye.